And we're back with Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. It's a Super Nintendo game. Cool. And uh, Izzy is the mascot of the 1996 Olympics. I had a I had a shirt with Izzy on it. <laughs> did you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, some <laughs> friends of the family went to the the, the games in uh, Atlanta. Uh huh. And they brought me back a shirt with Izzy on it. Okay. See, uh, they give you an, actually a little intro here on how to play Izzy. Yeah. This is the 96 games, and this yeah. was released in 92. Did I read that correctly? Listen, a lot of things about Izzy are mysterious. Oh. Uh, first of all, nobody knows who he is or what he is. He looks like a carrot. He's, he's a actually, torch. He, he's like a torch. He no, he actually his his original name was What Is It? Oh, oh. Know that. oh. Yeah, okay. It's uh, but anyways, this, he was uh, fine eggs. Just the like mascot the of the nineties. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My favorite competition when they put eggs on spoons and they race each other. Yep. Oh, that's, that's definitely great. my favorite. We're going to beat Russia this year. Now. <laughs> We're <laughs> finally going to take down Russia. Sons of bitches. We're going to get what's coming to them. So, uh, anyways, he's the uh, mascot of the 96 games, and mm-hmm. this game was a uh, tie in to you know, promote the 1996 Olympics. If okay. You know, you know, to raise awareness. Because nobody knew this this worldwide event was going on. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Got to promote those Olympics. Got to get the word out. So, uh, Izzy's rings. Uh, the Olympic rings have been stolen, mm-hmm. and he has to go to the Greek village to get them back. I, I'm going to say this right away. This is the nicest looking game that we've let's play so far. <laughs> That's true. Which is uh, kind of sad, I think. But no, no, no. This is it's, uh, this is a decent looking game. There's a tree man. Mm-hmm. Um, so he, I thought this was going to be a uh, like a sports mini game type no, game. Right, but, right. Uh, I bet you guys are confused. I know you, this is a little daunting. Uh huh. Like yeah. Right? And that's why I've I've prepared some questions I want you to read me. Oh! Because I, I want to inform you about this game. I want to... That seems a little contrived, but okay. That's fine. <laughs> no, this is... Listen. Well, wait. He turned turn into a, a... Hang gliding is one of the, the most famous Olympic sports that never existed. Right. And with uh, a rocket on his back, Yeah, he likes too. to morph into things. So, oh, got um, an egg. Is this like Yoshi's story? You could launch egg? Oh, he's got it. This short. game, as you said when we started off this game, 1992... Oh. Yeah. I believe that predates Yoshi's story. Wow. So one could say... You keep doing all these, like, trendsetter games. Right. Like Chester <laughs> Cheetah, thought of minecarts. Uh-huh. They invented the concept of a minecart. Yeah. Uh-huh. Never before had a nope. minecart been seen in a video game. Or period. So let's 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 read these contrived questions. These contrived questions I prepared. Right. Uh, I'm going to hand them to Judge here. Actually, our... Can you bring those questions up, Judge? Sure. I have them on my Blackberry Curve. Oh, good. <laughs> you got one of those? Little... All right, hold on. Oh, this one's right. cool. Watch this one. When I morph into this one. Oh, that is an yeah, actual. That's an actual event. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it, Italy won this year, guys. Italy. Did they? Well, they won. I don't. It was men's or women's. It's the sexiest Italy. country. It's a Leo. No offense to all the other countries, but Italy is the sexiest country. Italy is the sexiest country. And uh, again, we're we're not very far into the games right now. But uh, mm-hmm. after day one, uh, Italy was number three in medals, and all of their medals were like in really sexy sports. Like, okay. Like judo. Okay. Sex. Code code name sex. code name for sex. Code Fencing. Sex Olympics. Code name for sex. <laughs> <laughs> See, we we know about things other than video games. Mm-hmm. We, know we don't. We don't really know anything about video games. But oh, all right, contrived questions. Let's go. I'm sorry for right, holding yeah, this no, up. No, no, no. Uh, Judge, can you read me contrived question number one? All right, my BlackBerry Curve just got done updating its firmware. Okay. I pulled the battery three times, but I have the question. Now. All right. Uh, question number one: Who is Izzy, and why should I care about him? Ah, great question, Judge. I think we've already great. established who. No, Izzy let's is. go over it no, again. Let's go. I, I went maybe in. someone skipped the, okay, the beginning of. Maybe the... my fault for reading the first question. Listen, listen. Let me give you some quotes to give you a little, like, deeper understanding of Izzy. Is he a radical dude? Does one of the quotes say he's a radical no. dude? No. The first quote is from Bob Costas. Oh, okay. Oh. NBC sportscaster. Is that the guy who bit a hooker? Yeah. That, yeah, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Not Marv Elbert. It was Bob Costas. So he described Izzy as a genetic experiment wait, 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 gone wrong. Izzy Elder Challenge. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, he has these wait, challenges wait, in between. He's on a gold? <laughs> oh, because, of the, wait, but the gold medal isn't, like, garish jewelry. <laughs> hey, this goes on for about five minutes. Hold on, let me give it through my quotes. I was okay. going to say, this is not like Judge to interrupt a bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob Costas referred to him as a genetic experiment gone horribly ghastly wrong. Horribly ghastly wrong. Matt Groening, creator of The Simpsons... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that stupid rabbit. Yep, yeah, that stupid rabbit. He said, It calls to mind a bad marriage of the Pillsbury Doughboy and the ugliest California raisin. 
Zing. Which which one is the ugliest cow? Like we should know which <laughs> yeah. California raisin is the ugliest. throw this out there. Simpsons very ugly in general. Uh, whoa, so whoa! The creator whoa. of the Simpsons is saying so, your mascot yeah, sucks. He's, he's, uh, <laughs> yeah, true. Cold, yeah, true. Cold cow. And the media uh, jokingly referred to him a few times as the entity known as the media. No. Yes, the media. Uh, listen, my sources, <laughs> my sources were very hard to come by here. Okay. There's one Wikipedia entry on this man, and a, and a site dedicated to pins with Izzy. Okay. It's called IzzyPins.com. I'm not lying to you. It's a web ring. But, Are you anyways. Kickbacks from IzzyPins.com? Uh, yeah, that's one of our promotional tie-ins. Uh, the media lovingly referred to him as the Sperm in Sneakers. The Sperm is That's actually kind of funny. That's yeah. a cool name. Yeah. yeah. After he was debuted as What Is It? What Is It? At the 92 Barcelona closing ceremonies, he oh! came out and danced okay. with a bunch of like uh, house party looking guys. I watched this all on YouTube. I, I did extensive research. See, this is this is why we go to go to diaper. The judge doesn't know. We do tricks. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. We, the judge comes prepared. Yeah, I, or, that judge diaper comes prepared. I was on the phones. I was calling people. I'm like, listen, you need to tell me about Izzy. I got I got my interns working all the phones. I got really bored at this point and just started trying to I'm kill myself. I'm getting bored watching it and listening to you. All right, question number two. All right, there's a little bit of uh, flavor Frenchness in here when uh, Diaper makes me read, what kind of asshole would design Izzy? Well, Izzy was the, was commissioned by the Atlanta Committee of Olympic Games. They were searching for a mascot, and uh, they went to a bunch of design firms in Atlanta, and some guy named uh, Ryan... That level was really long. I'm going to throw that out there. That was a bonus level. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's, there is a bonus level in between every level. We are not out of World 1 yet. Wait. This video will only consist of World 1, and it is 25 minutes long with a bonus level that's that long in between each level. The bonus wow. level was like six minutes. Way to give our viewers incentive to keep watching. So if you guys are <laughs> you guys, If you guys hate yourself, keep on keep watching. Keep on watching. Because it's going to be more great gameplay and more shitty jokes Don't worry. coming right at you after the break. Whoa. Wait, the Onyx Ring? Is that an Olympic award? No, no, it's the, the it's the black yeah, ring. it's the rings. Oh, oh. The black oh. ring of the... But, uh, what does that represent? Uh, uh, unity, piety. hope, uh, athleticism, and uh, Fart sex. Jokes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, anyways, he originally was a blue blob with rings around his eyes and tail, and uh, it made him look like an alcoholic. <laughs> he was always drunk, and eventually they gave him arms and legs with a toothy grin to make him look more athletic. Well, good call. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. Huh. You're essentially just a blue bob. Mm-hmm. Blue blob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, talk, uh, no can, talk. I, can I get the next question, Judge, please? Uh, no, because I accidentally deleted your email. <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to pull it up. Uh, I love Izzy. Uh, where can I find more of him and learn more about his backstory? Uh, let me explain that to you. <laughs> well. <laughs> He's an archer now. He's trying to flop the balloons. Oh. Yeah, it, it's really useless being an archer. I don't really know what the point is. So anyways, where can you learn more about Izzy's backstory? Well, the, AO, the ACOG, the uh, Commission for the Olympic Games, commissioned an animated television special. Also, the Heroes and Gears of War. An animated television special entitled Izzy's Quest for Olympic Gold to promote Izzy and expand his backstory. Okay. Uh, it was produced by Film Roman. And the special Ro aired on Roman Polanski? <laughs> it was produced by Roman Polanski? Because that's... They're pulling out big guns. <laughs> yeah, Roman... They, they approached Roman Polanski and they said, hey... We got this blue sperm thing with sneakers. That's right up his alley. You that expand, is right up his alley. He wants you to expand his backstory. Okay. And uh, he made a cartoon about it, mm -hmm. and uh, it premiered uh, in August 12, 1995. Deep iconography and uh, a lot of subtext. Yeah, it was it was good. It was, uh, I mean... I just, Look, I don't approve of what he did to that kid, but he's a great director. He's a he's great, great director. director. I don't... What he did to those kids is terrible. Free him. Let him, let him go free. Yeah, it, Anthony, can you go ahead and read the next question there? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, I'm glad to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, the thing flipped. Uh, I am a man of a very spe of specific needs. This is funny because I was actually going to ask you about this. Uh, I do not wish to get into detail about these needs. Again, I was going to ask you about this. Uh, however, I will say that I need to find a roller coaster named after Izzy. That wasn't where I was going with that, but that's <laughs> no big deal. Uh, where can I find a roller coaster named after Izzy? Oh, funny you should ask. The <laughs> the roller coaster in Bush Gardens Williamsburg 
It's a theme park in Williamsburg, Virginia. Yep. Named a new Wild Mouse roller coaster after Izzy. Oh, neat. The name has since been changed. Oh, oh well, we can pretend. But we can use our imagination. If, if you roll the roller coaster in Williamsburg, Virginia, it could probably be. between like 94 and 97, I would say. It might have been. It might have been called the Izzy. Uh, I just want uh, people uh, viewing this, watching this, listening to this at home to know how this. how this. upset Judge is right now. I've literally never seen Judge this upset. Uh, he's pretty pissed right now. Which is funny because I feel like we're really doing what he wants us to do and, mm -hmm. and you know, informing people about video games. Exactly. And yet he could not be more upset. And let me, you know, I know you're upset. And let me just say one last thing that yeah. maybe will make you feel a little better. And that's Izzy's motto. Oh, what's Izzy's motto? You don't know Izzy's motto? I feel like it's going to be uplifting. <clears throat> you know, when you post, you know, in Goonies post, never die. It, it, you guys want to take a guess at the Izzy motto? You think it's Goonies never die? What do you think it is, Anthony? Um, boy, I can't be sure. I feel, I just got to have motto a, sucks so far. I've got a gut, gut feeling that it has something to do. How many words is this motto? I feel, I have Are a, you starting the motto? I have a gut feeling that it has something to do with sexual repression. Okay. So the motto is, um, uh, I, mm, I have a gut feeling that it has something to do with sexual repression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Goonies Never Die. And, and Goonies, Goonies Never Die. All right. In uh, post, I want you to pipe in the Olympic theme behind me when I read this. That is copyrighted. We cannot do that. No, we're going to switch off uh, the next can, note. Yeah. Blah. Uh, so give me the Olympic theme. Okay. We cannot. Here comes. We, we literally can't. Izzy, Izzy's motto. If you have a dream, you must stay true to it. Believe in your dream, do everything you can to follow it, and you can make it come true. Oh, so that's what I get from this game. That is exactly what I get from this game. It was either that or sexual repression. It's one of those two things. Ah, <laughs> oh, the checkered flag. Fam look. Made famous in the Olympics. He, uh, he did it. He's cheering. Are we almost done with this video? Nope. Nope. You, no, got you see, that looks more like a blue sperm to me. That was the original concept of Izzy. Oh, and then he turned into a, a hellish flame demon. No, and then it, he evolved into the Izzy ball. The athletic man. See, now you gotta compete in another bonus level. Oh, good. This oh. one's a spacewalk. So this one's actually just a level. I don't know what's different about it other than it's in space. Okay. Um. So you basically can just walk into the enemies then. Yep. It's basically it. Okay. No, you have to do it. You have two jumps. You have a tumble jump and a hurdle jump. Oh, that makes the sense. The tumble jump only hurts people. The hurdle jump makes you go higher, but you can get hurt. Okay, interesting. Um, the medals are like your life. They're kind of like your rings with uh -huh. Sonic. I'm uh, going to say, this game it doesn't seem so bad. It, Judge it, is really like it, pissed right now, but this is, ultimately, this is probably the best, best game we've played so far. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't, I'm not playing it. I've been playing it. Uh, it's a little long. It seems like it drags out. I mean, in every respect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not very fun to play. Uh, I fell asleep four times in the middle of playing. Okay. It was so boring. Cool. I like, I'd be, you know, just walking around with Izzy, happy uh -huh. as a uh, blue sperm and sneakers. Right. And uh, I would just pass out. I'd wake up like, oh. Uh, are those like checkpoints? Those, those yeah, except if up? you die in this level, uh, you just go to the next. In, so, so the checkpoint the, is inherently that, that, useless. That thing you just stepped on looked like a toe jam and earl thing. It was like a plant with an eyeball on it. That was kind of a big thing. That is, this is like a, this, this game does kind of have a toe jam and earl vibe. vibe yeah, yeah. yeah but kinda... I think that's because the got a wacky mascot is wearing sneakers. It's not mm. nearly as funky. Of no, course, certainly not. But certainly not as funky. It's like a taste of TJ and E. Right. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah, uh, it's... Toe Jam and Earl 101. Yeah, I mean, he's a pretty funky guy, though. I mean, you guys didn't watch the closing ceremonies of the Barcelona games like I did no. on YouTube. I mean, they're like, you know, here here we're going to bring out the, uh, the new country mm -hmm. that's going to host the next Olympic Games, which was America at the time. Yeah. And uh, they're going to do their little dance number to represent them. Right. And they, they started dancing like House Party. Cool. You know? That's and then like Izzy, like a 3D Izzy came on screen. It wasn't, and, a, it wasn't and, a Izzy hologram? This it was, was a computer, pre, pre was, hologram technology. Yeah, no, it was not an Izzy hologram. It was a computer generated Izzy. Oh, cool. So the people <laughs> watching their live they yeah. had no idea what was no going on. No clue. Unless maybe they put it on the scoreboard? I don't know, maybe. I thought it was the bonsai buddy. Like, <laughs> oh no, he got to my TV. <laughs> I thought it was the bonsai buddy. And uh, so, like, it was one of those shitty, like, 1992 computer 
Yeah, those are my favorite. graphics, you know, and he like, he kind of like turned, morphed from a sperm. Right. Into a, like a man with arms and legs. Oh, cool. And then the mascot himself like came out on stage and started doing the rap dance, the house party dance with everybody. That's, that actually sounds wicked dope. Mm-hmm. Agreed. It, it is 130% better than this game. <laughs> it... Well, I like how he, t- he he started as a sperm and then he came into a man, which is like kind that of, is, oh, thank is. God. <laughs> All right, so we made it. We're done now. The video's over, right? Nope. Oh, no, no, no. We got to go through the whole <laughs> three. We got to go through uh, the third level. Is there a, is there a bonus stage? This, this is the first tell me there's, world. Please this tell is me the first world. world. And I've, I've collected two rings already and you get a, a ring at the end of each world. I assume you just collect five rings and you're done, so maybe the game will end when oh, I get God, five I hope rings. So. God, please, I hope so. Please, my please, merciful God. That's what I'm hoping. No, this ah, is... the Onyx ring. Yeah, this is the final conflict oh, okay. of this world. Right. Uh, according to uh, the internet, this game has six worlds. Okay. Uh, we're in one right now. We're in one. We're still in one. Uh, I mean, th- to be fair, let's not shit on it too much. At the, at the time, the game's given you a lot of content. We played some games that have had very little content, so mm-hmm. you're getting your money's worth at mm-hmm. least. Mm-hmm. I mean, right now in in 2047, when we're doing this, it, it's easy to shit on <laughs> these type of games. But I mean, for the time, you gotta appreciate. Mm-hmm. I only base content. I only buy games based on how many hours of fun. <laughs> right, <I've> exactly. <laughs> Uh, oh, he gets a baseball bat. He just like beats the shit out of it, people. Funny, and it's, what's funny about that is baseball is no longer in the Olympics. Oh. It, it's been gone since like 08 or something. Yeah. Really? So yeah. is he, why? Why is that? Do you know? Uh, I'm just curious. Because baseball sucks. dominate. No, because baseball's boring. Because baseball's boring. Yeah, but they, they had to make way for. Uh, they have curling other. No, oh, you know, everybody no, no, shits I, on curling. I love curling. Curling's pretty good. good, and it's pretty difficult to actually do. Yeah, I yeah. think curling is uh, legitimately very watchable. I, I agree. agree. In, in college, uh, I skipped a whole day of classes mm-hmm. to watch curling. I went to the building that I was supposed to go to for my class, but in the lounge, they had a TV on, and curling, and curling was on. I had like a cup of coffee with me, and I was like, this, this seems better than exactly. Psychology 101. Yeah, it's that it was perpetually every college class you ever took was Psychology 101. Yeah, right? yeah I just I took <laughs> I have 90 credit hours worth of Psychology 101. So what is your what indicates your health on the screen? Is it is these eyes? Is it kind of like a Duke Nukem kind of thing? And no, I have no true, true story. I kept looking at Izzy's eyes and I have no clue what they mean. Uh, the whole time I was playing, I think mm-hmm. when you get hit, he does that. In his eyes up there, uh, but uh, there's the three little dots to the right of his eyes. Because I see he gets squashed, and I was trying to determine for myself if that affects your health. Does it, or is it no. just like a, a cosmetic I, thing? Like, no, oh, I, you fell too far. I think yeah, they're like, oh, you know, Doom is popular right now. <laughs> Doom, Doom is popular. <laughs> I mean, right he's now. not. So like, incorporate the one just, thing it, from it. Yeah, it, <laughs> incorporate. Really resonated. Incorporate. What's the coolest thing about Doom is the fucking little box with your yeah. blood running right. down your face. Yeah. It, it was like the the. That, that's the best part of Doom. Yeah, it... <laughs> <laughs> You're just destroying ancient Greek monuments. <laughs> I need to progress, damn it. <laughs> Izzy respects nothing. And that's true. ultimately why he failed. No, 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 that's why he's an effective American mascot. Because he uh, just doesn't give a shit about history. Other countries. <laughs> just, oh, or his own, really. America, we're in ancient Greece. I gotta get some gold coins, though. I gotta get the money. He I'm just to... gonna destroy these ancient <laughs> artifacts. He went to Chick-fil-A day. <laughs> And then he protested Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> He's really confusing. Yeah. And then, what is it? So he reaches across the aisle. He exactly. He really. And they made a point. Uh, I read some interviews with the designer of Izzy, mm-hmm. and uh, he made a point that Izzy has no gender. Oh, um, yeah. And he no looks ra- male. No I'm gender and no that. race. He, he he looks more male than he represents else. the melting pot of America. Oh, that's oh, good. is that a race? Uh, a no, race, it though? really doesn't make sense. But I jump across this thing, and then that happens. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that game. Good. <laughs> I thought it was a cool thing. Like I, I'm I, sure they explain it in the manual. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. I, I feel like it was one of those things, like, the programmer probably was like, hey, I did this thing. <laughs> like, oh, that's great. Oh, good. We'll, we'll have to implement it. Oh, we're not going to hit our deadline. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll leave it there. This seems bad. Like, I can't tell how you could be safe, even though it looks... I, I assume those thorns will hurt you. I, he touched them, though, and it didn't look like it, it looked did any like damage. It, yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah, I didn't, I don't understand it either. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm glad I, we can I mostly want this. this game to be over. It's uh, gone on way too long. I disagree. I, th- I want my life to be over. <laughs> hey. Whoa, hey. It, I, I have a quote here from Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very differently. 
I'm not going to read the quote again. Now, now that time the guy gives me a thumbs down. I think, well, you failed the race. Is he a judge? No, you're the he, judge. He's the Russian judge. <laughs> oh, oh, clever. So, the, the eggs are shoehorned. The eggs are shoehorned. I don't collect them most of the time. See, I don't give a shit about so, that one. <laughs> yeah, the, the eggs are shoehorned. That's that's fair. I wonder what the, the thought was behind the egg. Maybe they're like... I want you to explain... The eggs of Izzy's race, and he's trying to no. propagate his race. But he's all the... racist. He's yeah. all... So, yeah, if, if you remember... one race succeeds, then... All right, so succeeds. that was World 3-3. We're done, right? No, there is a bonus oh, thing. I <laughs> know! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Guys, listen... Is there gonna be? Are we gonna? Are we, is there gonna be an episode or two of this? Are we going through this entire game? I don't know. I think. You think we should do it? I mean, it's time for that discussion, isn't it? Let's say you're just pushing a tire. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to collect five tires, and then you get to hang out <laughs> for his monster truck. <laughs> you're a real American. And then you get to hang out with Mary Lou Retton and Michael Johnson. Awesome. Ah, oh, great. Uh, miss you, Mary Lou. Rip. So, um... This is another rocket level, for the record. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Those, don't have to watch. Those don't go on for too long. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's talk about something, uh... Let's, let's talk about favorite Olympic memories. Because <laughs> there's not... We've seen this. Let's... Okay. What, what do you guys, uh... What's, what's your favorite Olympic memory? Uh... Crit diaper Chris? Uh... My diaper favorite Chris. Olympic memory. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Um... I'm gonna have to go with... Uh, the 96 games. Okay. Uh, the Izzy games. The Izzy like games, yeah. Uh, the gymnastics the, team. The Izbiz. Uh, the Izbiz. Carrie Strug uh, hurt her, her leg. And then that, that Russian guy was all like, you can do it. That was going to be mine, you asshole. You stole He's, mine. But we can have the same memory. Okay, that's fine. He said, you can do it. He said, you can do it. And Adam Sandler was there. Yep. And uh, Rob Schneider. Uh-huh. And they kept saying, you can do it. Yep. Everyone said you could do it. Yep. So it took the, it was a phenomenon. It took the, the country that was it. by storm. Not, not the fact that she hit the landing after that. Just like no, you just said, you can do, do it. it. Stuck the land. She stuck it. Stuck. She stuck the it. Landing. Stuck the landing. Always feel bad for the gymnast girls. The so gym, gymnastics, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, gymnastics is just terrible to watch. It's really compelling. Mm -hmm. There's but a lot of tension. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, me and you, uh, Diaper, we're, we're both similar. We're, we're people who are ridden with guilt 24-7. Mm-hmm. 24 -7. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for those, those girls. girls are just crying. Yeah, I feel bad. Like, I, so the hormones they have to take. Look, I, I, like, I can't make toast successfully by myself. Like, that's, I wake up in the problem. morning, I, I just, I fucking, I, that, that pressure making toast is too much for me. How do these people go on a little skinny beam and do flippity doos? <laughs> I believe term, that's a yes. technical term. Yes. Yeah, I, I can't make toast. I got pissed or again jokes. at this point and just tried to. Go forward. Toaster I, jokes. I was trying to kill myself. I was legitimately trying to kill myself. Like Izzy. Right. Not myself. I'm right. doing that right now. Take it off my belt. Oh, calm down. around my neck. He's going to hang himself from the Olympic rings. Yep. It's really tires, symbolic. The Olympic tires. <laughs> the Olympic tires. Watch out for that fireball. Watch out for the fireball. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it'll all be worth it because I'll get the five rings early if I beat all these bonus levels. That's what I said to myself. We, so, we're I not sure to the top. that's true. Nope, you don't get an Olympic ring for doing that. What? And so that's when I vowed to myself I'm never doing a bonus level again. But you got the gold. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what happens next time. I'm excited for the next playthrough. Oh, are you excited, Judge? Got literally 120 more minutes of Izzy.